What's up, guys? We're continuing with the walkthrough of The Darkness 2. Jackie, wake up. Everything's okay. <clears throat> there you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You... Vinny? I... I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. So I'm crazy. Whoa. Jackie with no hair. <laughs> My ravioli is too spicy. Oh, Looks like things are going well. Darkness comic. Okay. But they're rewriting us all. Even you. Atta I'm boy, not even Jackie. supposed to be here. Just calm down, Mr. Walker. What the fuck is happening to me? I'm concerned he's regressed into a more complex cognitive disorder. His thoughts are becoming extremely disordered. It can be confusing Let's for him at times. I want to do some displacement therapy with him. I'll set something up. Let me know if he gets oh back on his own. Okay. Jenny's a nurse. Crazy Johnny. Hey Jackie, I got that thing you wanted. It's big. Johnny, talk to me. What is all this? Some kind of darkness trick? That's what I told them, but they wouldn't believe me. They got bad wrists from all the computers. I tried to get your rocket in here, but it was too big. That's why I don't go outside no more. Johnny, you gotta help me get out of here. You think there's some kind of secret key to everything, Jackie? It's Tuesday. You take your medicine and then you get your meatloaf. God damn it. Au revoir, arrivederci, and goodbye. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. All right, so let me get this straight. He says he lives in a big mansion kind of place. Dr. Jimmy is waiting, Jackie. Come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please, have a seat. Jimmy the Grape. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jackie? I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You're not keeping okay, me here! Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Ready? Shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset. But I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. So 
Tell me he's waiting for me. Jackie, I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Dr. Vick's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two! What the fuck is happening? Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be all right. Now, last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family and that your house was... under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you. That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell, and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. But... my family, my, my friends... the darkness... Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right, and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Code white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. Let go oh, of me! God. Come on. You were doing ah, so good. Right, here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Go. Johnny, what Two. the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get back here, people. Jackie! Head for the bunker! Tell Eva he must I've been have some prunes. He's running for the door! Jackie, get back here! Oi, this way. There's nothing out there for you! See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. That's it for this chapter, guys. It was a pretty short chapter, but thanks for watching, guys.